I just have a quick video today, something I've been wanting to do with this door for some time, and I thought I would get to it this week. Let's do the title intro. Let's go. You're watching On The Mark with Mark. I know what you're thinking, Mark. Haven't you worked on that door two times already? Well, yeah. First, I rehung this door. Then, I put a cat door in it. And when I rehung it, yeah, I didn't hang it right. Something's not right with this door. It swings open. If it's, if it's standing out this far, I'll let go of it right there. Then, it swings open by itself all the way. Well, I've seen these neat little things that people do with strings and pulleys and, and weights and that, and uh, I just think it's kind of neat. And I've always wanted to try something like that on some door. And since this door goes to our basement and the inside here is not finished, it uh, will be easy for me to uh, hang the water bottle. I'm gonna use a water bottle, that way I can vary how much weight I have on it so I can get it to close just right. There are some mechanical uh, automatic door closers, but the ones I've seen are kind of heavy handed, I think. And I don't want this thing just slamming shut. I want it to go shut just about as easy as it falls open on its own. I just want it to be pulled shut. It doesn't have to latch. I don't mind coming by and latching the thing. I just don't like it if I go downstairs, if I leave it standing open, that it uh, swings all the way open because then it blocks the hallway there. So let's put this thing together. Someday I'll probably take that off of there. And then there'll be a small hole there up high where nobody ever looks. Not a big deal. Here's the bottle I'm going to use for my counterweight. So I'm going to drill a hole in the top of that, and I'd like to have a nice screw eye bolted into the top of this to hold it. So let's see what I've got for screw eyes with machine threads. Okay, I'm not too... Well, this is interesting. You know, this might actually be the thing. It'll look kind of funny. Yeah, let's do this one. Yeah, it's pretty close to the center. Okay, I'm just gonna finger tighten these. That's good. Starting to show up that it's not as centered as I had hoped it was, but that'll do. Actually, I've got another cap if I wanna try it again. We'll see how that works for now. All right, let's tie the string. Here's the string. If you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know that I always find a way to complicate things, and this one is no different. So here's how I'm going to thread this through. We're going through here first. Then we're going through the eye on the water bottle. Okay, and then we come through here. And I'm going to pay out a bunch of string here. In fact, I'm going to throw this across the floor. And then I'm going to go across the doorway here and come through this one and then I'm going to tie on to the door right here and I'm going to tie a nice bowline right here 
So now that's tied on to there. Okay, now we need enough string so that the door can come completely open. Now on this end, we're gonna tie it off right here. So this eye just gets tied. It doesn't do any, any slipping or anything. So now here is where the water bottle's gonna hang. So here's the idea, and it's a simple one. If your door flies open by itself, you tie a string onto the corner here, and you come over to another eye, and then you just hang some weight from it, and it comes down. Well, I've got a light here, and then the handrail is here, so it didn't work very well that the bottle should string down there, or hang down there. So I thought, well, you know what I'll do? I'll just transfer it across over to this side and have it come down over here where it'll be out of the way, which is pretty neat. But then I thought, well, if I added another hook, then I could make it so that my bottle only has to move or travel half the distance. So now I should be able to shut this. I don't have any water in it right now. We're just testing it and see it's staying away from the wall coming down it only comes down about halfway and there it is goes up to there goes across to there and then it's hooked on like that and now when I open the door that goes up all right let's put some water in it I'm gonna fill it half full and see how that does half full of water let's see if that well, it's not doing it right now. Let's see what happens here. Looks like no. Okay, about three quarters full now. Boy, it's heavy when you open the door. You can really feel the weight of that water there. And then now it's going shut. Nice and gentle. I think still, if I wanted the door to stay open, yeah, yeah, it'll still stay open to there. But if it just came up, I came upstairs like this and I opened it a full 90 degrees and walked by. Yeah, instead of swinging the rest of the way open, it pulls it shut. That's what I wanted. All right, that was pretty cool. This was kind of an easy one. My wife and I were on vacation all last week, so I'm just kind of whipped this one up quick. This is something that I have been looking at and planning on doing for some time. Something here. I didn't come up with this way of complicating things until just yesterday. Um, one other thing that I liked about the hardware that I had is this uh, screw eye right here is brass. And I think that possibly that nylon will slide across that brass maybe a little bit easier. It'll polish after uh, a few you know, a hundred times back and forth and it'll pull a little bit easier. You can, you can hear it when you open and close it, but you know, nylon, it's nylon string is, is fairly slick to begin with. That's all right. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Good, good, good.